So each Tuesday, I just kind of wanted to share uh, some of my thoughts. Uh, I've done that the last two uh, Tuesdays through just a written blog, but I figured as everything is going video, uh, it's best for me to go video too. So um, I don't know about you, but I've been looking at a lot of memes lately because what else is there to do? There's only so much TV I can watch. There's no sports. Um, I can only play outside with my kids so long. Um, so I've been looking at a lot of memes and a couple in the last week I found that were really interesting involved nurses and superheroes. One had a huge big line of all the superheroes lined up and they were handing off um, a cape basically to one of the nurses kind of saying, you know, welcome to the group, uh, welcome to, you know, this super group of individuals. So, and honestly, it did not make a connection with me until I saw this meme. So if you're at St. John's uh, for Christmas, we did a Christmas play and the title of the Christmas play was Searching for a True Star. The whole idea was this newspaper editor gave his two lead reporters the challenge of finding a star. He was sick of all the negative news and all the bad things happening. So he wanted to basically make his reporters find somebody who could fix it, somebody that could solve it. So one of the news reporters goes down the superhero um, way. He talks to Wonder Woman, he talks to Superman, he talks to Batman, and basically they're trying to figure out how they can solve all the world's problems or all the world's crime. Now, the other reporter in the meantime goes to the everyday heroes, okay? Now these are the connections, as I said, until I saw this meme I didn't make. The everyday heroes we picked were teachers, um, first responders, and uh, x-ray tech who was kind of served as our nurse. And until the other day when I saw that meme, I didn't make that connection. Um, because sometimes they say that obviously um, life imitates art. Now this is one of those times that art has actually turned to imitate life. Because right now, as our play uh, kind of works out, is that every one of the everyday heroes is very self-deprecating. Like one of them, you know, the first responder saves someone from a, a shallow lake and they say, that's just my job. I was just doing what God helped me to do. And, and the nurse is the same way. And the teacher is doing this great service project. And, and each one of them in the play just kind of says, it's not me. It's God working through me. Um, and I just think really that's what I've needed to notice lately. I've needed to notice some of those people who are everyday people. Uh, I know our congregation is filled with them. Our communities are filled with them. All these people that are continuing to do these things that normally we would not give it a second look. Uh, we would just say, yeah, nurses, okay, great, they're at hospitals, uh, truck drivers, grocery store clerks, like these are just normal everyday people. We don't usually, you know, kind of put them up on a pedestal. You know, that spot is reserved for our actors, our actresses, our movie celebrities, our, our sports heroes that we get to watch on TV. Guess what? They're locked in their homes just like we are. And who's still going to work every day? It's those everyday heroes. But as our play kind of plays out, each of those everyday heroes also can't fix everything. See, they're not the savior either. Even though what they're doing is great and amazing, just like they're doing now, that ultimately isn't what saves the people. They come to the conclusion at the end by watching a kid's Christmas program, which our kids did awesome in, um, watching a kid's Christmas program and realizing that Jesus is the true star. The only way that we can be saved is through Jesus and what God does for us. So. One of the big challenges I think right now in this whole coronavirus um, thing is just this idea of how do we share the gospel? Because normally we can do that by going to tell others, talking to others, doing acts of love to show that. Well, how do we do this now in this digital age? Well, as you look at videos, and as you look at things, you know what you can do with them? You can share them. Now, I think there's a good way to share them. Now, you can just hit share and you can put them on your page. Great, that's a cool way to do it. But I think there's a better way. If you know that one person who's maybe struggling, who needs to hear any of the messages that we've shared at St. John's, whether it be Pastor Josh, Pastor Hutch, uh, our principal, uh, Mr. Johnson, any of us that have shared, what you can do is you can find, maybe it's Carol or, or Gina or Bill who needs to hear that message. Share it actually to their actual page. Take that extra step to say, you know what, Bill? I think you really need to hear this today. Or, or Gina, I think this would be great for you. Or, or Carol, I think you would really get a lot out of this. That's that extra way that we can share the gospel right now because we can't be really together. And that is a huge challenge. But as we came to find out in our play, it's really still all about Jesus. We, everyday heroes, uh, all these different people working together can't ultimately solve this problem. This pandemic is sin again rooting itself in this world. The only way to save sin is through Jesus and our belief in him. So 
even through these difficult times, we need to keep sharing Jesus with others. So my challenge for you is just to find those people still in your life. Find them on your friend list on Facebook. Um, find them in different things. Um, show them to our church website under sermons, under worship services. You can even go back and watch our Christmas program itself. Those are all things we can do to still share the gospel. So if you're feeling down that, ah, I just wish I could do more, there's still more that we can do. So let's close in a word of prayer. Thanks for just uh, sharing and being able to listen to some of my thoughts today. Let's pray. Uh, God, I want to thank you so much really right now for our everyday heroes, for those grocery store clerks, those truck drivers, those nurses, those doctors, those teachers, all those people that are continuing to do amazing things uh, that make our lives better and that are trying to protect and help us. We thank you for them so much. God, in this difficult time, we also remember that really the only person to save this world is Jesus. Jesus came to this world to save us from all of our sins and help us to remember that. Help us to focus to that, to cling to that, and help us figure out creative and good ways to share the gospel with others. Um, help us to really reach out to those people right now who are isolated, who are, who are sad, who are struggling, who need to hear the good message of Jesus in their lives, that Jesus loves us all, that Jesus went to the cross to die and uh, to forgive us of all of our sins and came back and was raised again from the dead, that we get to celebrate that just in a few weeks here at Easter. God, just continue to guide us through this difficult time. Grant us patience, grant us peace, and all the things that we need uh, to realize that you are with us even through the darkest and most difficult of times. It's all in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thanks for the time again today. As I said, maybe this video was hit you in a certain way. Uh, maybe it was another one, but my encouragement is to share it. Directly share it to other people who really might need to hear it. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.